Hi, this is Rich and welcome back to my Minnesota Native Plant Channel. Today we're looking at the wild bergamot, the uh, Monarda fistulosa. Hope I'm saying that right. This is a plant that grows to two to four feet, um, has some beautiful pink flowers, little tubular flowers that uh, butterflies, bees, hummingbirds, uh, draws a lot of attention. Uh, just beautiful. Uh, my plants are about three feet tall tend to kind of max out there. Uh, blooms June through August. Um, the foliage is, is okay. Uh, squared stem, kind of coarse foliage. Uh, nothing too attractive, but the bloom is really nice. Um, it loves sunshine, uh, maybe a little light shade. Um, average soil, uh, you know, it can get uh, rich soil. You want to make sure it's well drained. That's the big thing is making sure that the soil is well drained. If it gets uh, too rich or too wet, uh, the stems are going to flop over um, or it'll die out. Uh, um, you can divide this plant up um, over you know every few years, divide it up and let it uh, uh, be able to spread it. Otherwise, it provides a very nice uh, um, group of color. Let's see if I can back out so you can see the whole plant. Uh, over time just a nice blue if you can put it or a nice purple if you can put it in with uh, some black-eyed Susans or uh, some other colors uh, it really complements that looks nice um, if it gets a lot of overhead watering it can get powdery mildew otherwise this is a great plant to have in the uh, native native prairie uh, garden that you might have uh, throw it in with some black-eyed Susans, butterfly weed, some other things to let those purples mix in. Just a beautiful plant. So again, the Monarda fistulosa, the uh, wild bergamot. So anyways, thanks for checking out my uh, Minnesota Native Plant channel. Have a great day.